How to configure your workstation. Badly designed and configured workstations are often a cause of backache, arm and hand pain and tired eyes. We've sought the advice of Vera Hughes and David Weller, authors of Teach Yourself Setting Up a Small Business, to tell us how to best set up your working area, wherever it may be. Step 1. Worktop and chair. Your worktop and chair should be at the right relative heights so that your legs don't dangle. Keep your feet on the floor or on a footstool. Have an adjustable chair, preferably swivel. You can often get one of these from a second-hand office furniture store or from an office which is refurbishing. It's worth the investment. Have a worktop big enough to hold your PC or laptop and printer and enough space for your papers. Sit straight, with your bottom well back on the chair. Your hands should sit roughly in line with your forearms, with no flexing of the wrist. Therefore, a slightly sloped keyboard is better than a flat one. This is more difficult on a laptop, so if you're going to do a lot of office work, opt for a PC. A wrist rest should only be used in between typing. They're not for leaning on while you work. Step 2. Position. You may not have much choice about where you position your workstation, but you do have choices about the way you face and what your surroundings are like. Don't sit facing a window. The outside light will go straight into your eyes and you won't be able to see the screen. If you sit facing a wall, make the background a neutral pastel shade rather than something very bright which can be distracting. If you're in an office where people are in and out, sit facing the door if you can, particularly if you or your staff are acting as receptionist. You need to see who's coming and going and you look more welcoming. Consider where the power sockets are and tie cables together or have them in plastic conduits so that you don't have cables trailing all over the place. That's against health and safety regulations. Look up the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 and the Offices, Shops and Railway Premises Act 1963, particularly if you employ others, even if it's only one person. Step 3. Lighting and heating. The ambient all-round lighting should not be too dim or too harsh. Don't have lighting daylight or artificial, straight onto the screen or into your face. You'll get glare and dazzle, and you won't be able to see a thing. Adjust the brightness of your screen if necessary. An angle-poised desk lamp directed onto the papers or your worktop is a great help, particularly if you're referring to hard copies. It means your papers are lit, but your screen is darkened and shows up well. Regulate the temperature so that you or your staff can work comfortably. It's hard to concentrate if you're too hot or too cold. Step 4. Telephone. Are you or your staff left or right-handed? If you're right-handed, you should have the phone on your left. If left-handed, vice versa. Have pen or pencil and message pad handy on the other side of your worktop. It sometimes takes a little time and adjustment to get your workstation just right, but it's worth the effort. A well-configured desk should leave you free from aches and pains and make you more productive.